Welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about how to fix this. The RPC saver is unavailable issue. First of all, you need to minimize this window. Mm, then you need to open services MSC from typing here. Here is the application which we want to start. After open that application, you need to find these two options called remote proce procedure call and remote procedure call. Then uh, go to properties of these applications and you need to click uh, select the automatic option and press start then select OK. And again go to this option also go to properties and uh, select automatic then press start and press ok uh, again uh, you need to open your um, registry regulator uh, then you can search on like this then open this application or edit then you can see it like this then you need to select H key local machine then go to system directory then go to correct control set in that folder you can find services then select this and type RP on your keyboard RP then you can find this location uh, then click on RPC SS then click on start then change this value to 2 then press ok yeah, it's already on the uh, two, so I'm not going to edit it once again. Now you need to open your command prompt window, then right click on it and run it as an administrator, then paste this command which in the description of this video, then press enter, and uh, you need to restart your PC now your problem will be fixed uh, other than that you need to open your control panel here it is just click on it then go to system and security settings if you can't see this like this you can uh, change it from to category from here then click on system and security settings in here go to windows firewall setting and select this allow app through windows firewall then click on this change setting option in here you need to find rpc server you can simply apply find it from clicking uh, R on your keyboard then go to this one and enable these two options then just click on uh, ok Okay friends, here we have restarted our PC, so you can try to format this disk drive once again. Now our problem is fixed. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification and then join with me.